Russia has initiated a significant assault on Ukraine's power infrastructure, employing a barrage of drones and missiles in what appears to be one of the most substantial attacks witnessed in the ongoing conflict. Reports from Kiev officials on Friday confirmed the devastating impact of the strikes, resulting in at least five fatalities and plunging over a million individuals into darkness as power grids faltered. With vital energy facilities targeted, Ukraine was compelled to urgently seek backup electricity from neighboring Poland, Romania, and Slovakia to mitigate the crisis. President Volodymyr Zelensky condemned the assault, emphasizing the direct threat it posed to the everyday lives of Ukrainian citizens. He called for immediate support from Western allies in the form of air defense systems to safeguard against future attacks. Emphasizing the severity of the situation, Deputy Head of the Presidential Administration, Oleksiy Kuleba, labeled the attack as one of the most severe blows to Ukraine's energy sector in recent memory. The strikes targeted key installations, including the Zaporizhia power plant, Europe's largest nuclear facility, which relies on Ukrainian power lines for operation. Despite the chaos unleashed by the strikes, Prime Minister Denis Shmihal reassured the public that the situation in the energy sector was under control, averting the need for widespread blackouts. The attack struck not only at infrastructure but also at the heart of communities. Kharkiv, a city near the Russian border, found itself under intense bombardment, with Mayor Ayr Terakov reporting significant damage to utilities, leaving residents without essential services. In addition to targeting energy facilities, the strikes hit strategic locations across central Ukraine, underscoring the breadth of the assault. Amidst the chaos, Ukraine's state hydropower company reported a direct hit on the Dnipro HES dam in Zaporizhia, heightening concerns over potential environmental and humanitarian repercussions. The assault on Ukraine's power infrastructure comes as part of a broader escalation in tensions between Russia and Ukraine. The Kremlin characterized the strikes as retaliatory measures in response to perceived provocations from Kiev, further exacerbating the already volatile situation. In response to the crisis, President Zelensky appealed to the European Union for increased support, including the provision of air defense systems. The EU, in turn, committed to utilizing frozen Russian central bank assets to finance military equipment for Ukraine, underscoring the international community's recognition of the severity of the situation. As Ukraine grapples with the aftermath of the devastating attacks, the need for swift and decisive action to protect critical infrastructure and civilian populations has never been more pressing.